Hello, this is Sidris, and today I wanted to show you how I built the, uh, my railroad barricades that I use to prevent people from jumping onto the tracks when a minecart is passing by in my city. It's a rather simple design. Uh, there are others on YouTube that you can find, um, and some of them are rather creative. Mine was more of a, just a, you know, minimal what I could do to get it functional. And it uses six sticky pistons, six repeaters, and a handful of redstone dust, and six detector rail, or correction, three detector rails uh, on the on the railroad. So this is the, the model of it working. And as the minecart approaches this first detector rail, barricades go up and as long as the minecart's traversing in the protected zone the barricade will stay up and as soon as the minecart moves the other end the barricade goes down so the easiest way to build this is to have your you've got six st sticky pistons And then whatever material you want to use for your barricade. I've been going with wood in my in my world. And then this is where your main line would go. And we'll just get a little bit of it going here. And so Oops. What I've found is the for, for my timing, I like to have the edge detector plates one block from where the barricades start on either end. And then you just connect them together. And so now we've got the inputs set and we just need to hook them up with the redstone. I run a line of redstone down the middle first. This redstone is here um, to help ensure that as long as there's a cart running along this rail, it'll be powered. As soon as the cart comes over this detector, it's kind of like a pressure plate or a button. It applies an input uh, for a certain amount of time and then turns itself off. And I was having a problem where the minecart would come along and if it's not going fast enough, somewhere in between here, the, of course it's going to ring. Anyway, somewhere in between here, the input would turn off. And so for a brief second, the barricade would drop and it would hit this detector plate and the barricade would come up again and it looked really bad. So by having this extra detector plate in between these two, even if the minecart's going slowly, it'll still be, it'll hit this detector plate which sends power to this, this central wire down here and keeps the barricade up for as long as the minecart's traversing the protected zone. Now in order to connect the, uh, the pistons, you'll need a set of repeaters. And, and there's a lot of ways to connect pistons. What I've done is the, this is the way I was able to do it to keep it so I didn't have to dig uh, very deep. It keeps it sort of flat. Just connect that center line to each side. And it's done. Now we just need a one part of the test board. And there it is. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment and I will try to answer them for you. Bye.